Welcome to Electron Online. Now here our next example with a summing amplifier deals with input voltages that have alternating sources. And notice that the frequencies of the alternating sources are different. So you may wonder, well, how do I do that? How do I sum those up? But actually it's fairly straightforward. We again use the very same equation and notice that the gain factors are simply again a ratio of the feedback resistors relative to the resistance of each of the inputs. So let's go ahead and work that out. We have the output voltage is equal to the negative of, so we have the ratio of RF's R sub i. RF is 20 kilo ohms and R sub, R sub 1 would be 5 kilo ohms, so it would be a ratio of 20 to 5 times 1 volt times the sine of 200 pi t plus the ratio of R sub f to R sub 2, which is 20 to 10, times 2.5 volts times the sine of 40 pi t, plus the ratio of R sub f to the third resistor, that would be 20 also to 10, times 1.5 volts times the sine of 75 pi t. We still have the negative in front because it's an inverting mode. This becomes equal to the negative of 20 divided by 5 is 4. That would be 4 volts times the sine of 200 pi t plus 2 times 2.5, which is 5 volts, times the sine of 40 pi t plus 2 times 1.5, which is 3 volts, times the sine of 75 pi t. And notice that everything is multiplied times a negative 1 here, so the output voltage will be the negative of that. So notice that it really doesn't make any difference what input voltages look like. They can be DC voltages, they can be alternating voltages. It makes no difference. We simply add them together in that same fashion. That's how it's done.